as a maxed player in Clash of Clans with nothing to spend my loot on, how much will I lose on defense? Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. We celebrated on the channel a couple of days ago that for the first time in seven years, I am a fully maxed base. All of my builders are busy and it's been a few days. So now my storages are also completely full as well as all of the mines and pumps. I cannot collect the loot because the storages are full. The only thing which is not maxed out to the brim is the treasury. Here is what I propose. We fill that treasury to the maxed so that I have maximum loot everywhere before I drop my shield and allow someone to attack me. So how exactly do I do that? Well, we are going to have to do a couple of attacks in order to get the 800,000 elixir in star bonus. That would put us at just over 5 million. But here's the thing. If we check out the clan games, there is a reward for 1.2 million elixir. If I get the star bonus first, I won't be able to collect that. So we need to get the clan game rewards first. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just select some other items. Oh, in the fifth row, does this ever happen to you? I can't collect anything. Now the dark elixir I can't get, the builder portion I could use, but it's useless. So let's quickly use a rune of builder gold. Problem solved, there we are. And wow, I can actually get a rune of elixir for my final reward. So there we are, a bunch of elixir that moves into the treasury. So let's go ahead and see what is in there now before we do the attacks. Now we have 5.4 million. So the 800,000 would max us out. But here is where I need to be careful. Why don't I just cook up e-drags i quite like using e-drags to farm i haven't used them for a while notice that cost us over 1 million in elixir if i were to collect my resources from the collectors then i wouldn't have as much for people to steal on defense so i need to make sure that i gain the elixir back from the raids we are about to do i found this base which has 1.4 million gold I think I'm going to attack it. The only thing we need to offset is the elixir from cooking the armies and the gold from searching, which shouldn't be too bad. I've changed the army a little bit to bring some headhunters. So let's go with the king on this area. Let's go with the baby dragon as well to start that funnel. We have the headhunter for that queen as long as the king moves up to the top as he does. There we go, headhunter. King's ability, beautiful. Why don't we use the queen on the other side? We can also use... Why don't we use the royal champion down to the bottom here, actually? That's probably a better call. Try and get that multi-target inferno. I can use a baby dragon on this area. Queen's ability. Come on, RC. You can get that multi. Where are you going? No, 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 no. She's not going to get the multi. I don't want to use a headhunter because I kind of need that for the RC, which is weirdly enough at the top of the base. Okay, let's put the Grand Warden on A. And let's attack all of the balloons. All of the E-Drags. Grand Warden. Oh my gosh, there's so many red air bombs. Rage, rage, Grand Warden's ability. Come on, let's go. Now let's freeze this and freeze this. We can rage again, try and get the E-Drags over the top. We only need to offset the Golden Elixir. We don't necessarily need to three-star, but obviously a three-star would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Let's rage this area because we have all of the balloons coming out of the clan castle. Let's continue with this. Why don't we get ready with the headhunter for the royal champion? We can put minions on the outside of the base. It's looking pretty good here to try and take all of the loot. And we might be able to offset the elixir within this one attack, but we obviously need to do both of them in order to get the star bonus. I'm not sure we're going to get it. Come on, E-Drags, get through this. The Archer Tower survives, but there's not a lot of health left. One more chain. Grand Warden, come on. Oh, the E-Drag goes down. We've got to get ready with this Headhunter. It has to be perfectly timed. Let's use a minion over here to start cleaning up. Oh, my word. I've took my eye off the ball. Let's get the Headhunter in. Oh, I took my eye off it to try and deploy the minions. We should actually get 1.4 million gold from this, though, which is pretty good. Let's allow the minions to just clean up this area. OP, 
minion moving to the side of the elixir collector. That was beautiful. How much do we get? 1.4 million gold. That is incredible. I am definitely sharing that with you on Instagram and Twitter, but I wonder how much of that loot is completely lost. Like I did not gain it. Did the opponent lose it? I'm not actually sure what happens there, but at least I am not going to accidentally click the Elixir Collectors. I was worried about that. That didn't go as planned, but we did get the star bonus. We now have the treasury full. We have all of the storages full. We have the collectors full. Everything ready to go. Should I set some defending clan castle troops? No, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice because I am going to use this base. I don't think it's fair to put a troll base on and let them get the loot. We want to watch the defense. We want to see if they can legitimately take down the base with my farming base. Now, I am going to have all of the links for my bases within my Discord server. You can always join, grab the links from within there. But let's go ahead and let's drop the shield. Then we can see when people attack us. So here we go. Let's remove it. I can't wait to see how much loot we will lose. It's going to be millions. We do have the guard. I'm actually going to leave my heroes down. Let's remove the guard. There we go. Now let's force close the game. Okay, it has been five minutes and I have not had a notification. I actually double checked that they were on, logged back into the game, but I'm worried we're going to miss the live attack. So let's quickly log back in. And we are under attack. Wow, what are the odds? And look at the loot. 1.7 million. Come on, take the loot. Take the loot. My heroes are actually back up, look, because what happens is when you log out of the game, you actually have five minutes before you get attacked. The shield kind of extends. I think it's in case you accidentally log out of the game, but here we go. Come on, my friend, take the loot. I want to see how much he gets. So it looks like he's going with the Valkyries. The bowlers, he does have maximum level troops, wall breakers, nicely used through the rage, but the rage wasn't in the correct place, so he has to use a couple more to get the queen in. This is where, as a maxed player, you lose millions, millions of loot. His queen hasn't gone into the base. It's okay, my friend. I do not have clan castle troops. Nice bowler bounce, trying to get the mortar. I like it. Very skillful, unless he was trying to get the air defense. Queen moving around. A couple of ballers to set the funnel on this side. Queen is getting low in health. He decides to rage. Will he take all of the loot? Will he three-star my base? Time is ticking. He's trying to create the funnel for the Valkyries, but it's, it's honestly not going too well for him. He's already got half a million elixir. He is doing a very extensive queen charge. Maybe he's going to flush the Valkyries in towards the clan castle, actually. That's probably the better play for him. No. Deciding to come from the left-hand side. Queen is getting fried by the single. He doesn't have a headhunter. Rage is the queen. That is very nice play. In order to keep that queen alive, he's picking apart the gold. Look at the loot going down. He's got one million gold and elixir off me. How much will he get? He's not getting to the town hall. What is this? What was that to the left-hand side? This is a farming attack. He decided not to go for the town hall. He decided to just go for the storages and he even missed some. He's got one minute left. I don't think he can get the single. He's got nothing for the Valkyries. Freeze the scatter shot. You needed the Valkyries to get the single. He's got the RC moving through. RC ability goes off. Wait a second. He gets the single. RC goes to the center. Grand Warden's ability. Oh, what are you doing? He could have used the Grand Warden's ability to protect the RC. He decided to use it for the queen to get the gold, uh, the elixir storages, but I think he would have got that anyways. Counting on the queen to go through. Healers on the king. He'll run out of time either way with a disconnect. Believe it or not, unless he rage quit. Has he rage quit? Oh, we are back. 
We have back. He got the clan castle. 1.7 million of each. Wow, with nearly 12,000 Dark Elixir. That is how, as a max level player, you lose millions of loot. If you do want to see the video where I became a maxed player, I have it linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care, and I will see you in the next video.